welcome back to my youtube channel hi if you're new here my name's chrissy i'm a mum of three and if you're existing welcome back hope you all had a lush new year's eve and new year's day and new year so far um i haven't really caught up with you all have i, I keep saying i'll do a q a and then i just never get around to doing it but yeah i'm gonna try and make the time i'll get a dash cam so i can do it while i'm driving somewhere then there's no excuse but yeah today's video is a little food shop weekly food shop and i've tried to bunch all of the food items together so you can see what we're having for our meals for the week i spent just under 100 pounds which i didn't think was too bad because i've got so many snacks because all the christmas snacks and things like that have all run out now and um lola cried yesterday because there's no snacks in the cupboard <laughs> that she liked which is really entitled i know but yeah i never really run it down normally i just buy more and more and more but this time it's literally skeleton and also have your kids become a little bit like more brand snobby since christmas because they've had all the branded things, because I normally shop at Audi, don't I? And they've had like more, I don't know, for example, instead of the dupe of something, they've had the real thing. And now um, they've become more entitled again. So I've done a little shop, so it is branded stuff, but I've gone for the stuff that they've been having over Christmas, but bought the little versions, because it is a lot cheaper, isn't it? But yeah, comment down below if your kids are the same, or if it's just mine. Um, and also got quite a few bits for Jesse because if you're new here, I have a seven month old son called Jesse and we're weaning and he's also dairy and soya free. So am I because I'm breastfeeding him. So yeah, it's in, not in my diet either. So I'll in, introduce, I'll include bits that I've got Jesse for the week. So yeah, without further ado, I'm going to get into the video, show you what I've got. And yeah, let me know what you think in the comments down below and give this video a big thumbs up if you like it because it really helps me and my channel to grow and the algorithm and things like that. So yeah, I'm not going to waffle on. I'll show you what I got. So here's everything that I picked up, starting with the staples that I pop in the fridge, etc. I've got baby butter mushrooms, tomatoes, some cheddar slices for Lily. These are a lot more expensive than they are in Aldi. Nearly £2 for 12 whereas in Aldi it's 10 slices. Might be seven actually for a pound, so but it's still cheaper in Aldi. Some bread, I've got some Coke Zero for the girls at the weekend and some full fat Cokes for me and Adam. Some squash as we've run out of both. Some white sandwich thins and some tea wraps. Some whole milk and some almond milk for me and Jessie. And then onto fruit, I've got loads of fruit because I've got a seven month old baby and they eat so much fruit, don't they, at the beginning and veg and things like that. So I've got blueberries, I have to get a massive pin it because Lola has really been enjoying these as well. I like them, Lily likes them, so I just thought I'd get a big pin it. Some watermelon chunks, I don't normally buy packaged fruits, it's so much more expensive. But I don't think we're going to go through a whole watermelon right now. And I wanted to try Jesse and see what he thinks. Some raspberries, some pink lady apples, haven't got these for ages, but needs must. If you know, you know. <laughs> Bananas and some kiwis, but that one's really really ripe i'm not sure what that's going to be like underneath i've got them loose because it worked out cheaper and then on to meals for the week i think i've got six meals here and um, one thing i will say i always meal plan i always go through my fridge freezer and pantry cupboard to see what i've got and then make meals based on that if that makes sense so yeah i picked up these because on sunday we're actually out because uh, one of the kids has got a birthday party so i'm not going to do a roast but i thought we could do some pork loin steaks with mash stuffing and veg so yeah i picked up that and then i'll freeze the rest so essentially i've got two meals out of this at least probably more to be honest um and i will be giving jesse that as well we've got fajitas on the meal plans i picked up a pepper some mini fillets and then i've also got some wraps that are over there so that's another meal this was a cool meal so you literally just bring it all in one pot and it's a spanish style chicken casserole so i thought that would be great and just have that with um rice or some mash depending on what i fancy so yeah i picked that up because it's really lazy and really easy and i was going to do something like this and buy it all separately but this is just so easy isn't it for those winter nights and you can't be bothered but yeah you want something nice pasta bake because it's a go-to isn't it the only thing i'm sad about is that i can't have cheese and i don't like any vegan cheese but um no one else really likes cheese in this house on their pasta other than lily but then lily only likes to eat it on its own if you know she's fussy so yeah we're gonna have pasta bake but we'll do a sausage pasta bake and then i'll just chuck whatever i want in if there's any leftover pepper or some mushrooms or whatever everyone kind of has different pasta if you've watched my videos before you know i have a fussy middle child so i'm gonna see if she'll actually entertain this tomato and basil sauce it's for meatballs but um i think it'll be fine to put in the pasta bake 
with some garlic bread and then there'll be so many sausages left over so that'll do another dinner for the kids or sausages at the weekend hot dogs etc so potato waffles because jesse's obsessed with them <laughs> and i really like them and i did on my weaning what my six month old eats in a day i used these in one of our dinners and honestly it was a game changer so yeah go and check out that video if you want to see what i cooked for dinner because it was honestly so 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 nice and yeah we could even make that with the leftover sausages so yeah so that's my meals for the week and then i've also got a frozen pizza because again we've got another party um a kids party so lily will eat at that there's a pizza already in the freezer for Lola, and then adam will have this one and it's a night where i'll just sort myself out because i can't have pizza oh sad fun but yeah it's what it is and then for breakfast bits i've got some sugar waffles for the weekend as we do like a sweet treat at the weekend some blueberry wheats because i was going to try jesse with these obviously they're going to be high in sugar um but it's a different cereal alternative so far he's had shreddies wheat bix and rice krispies but i thought he might quite like them and then i've got some triple chocolate crisp for adam and lola because they're going to be obsessed and then some soft bakes for adam to literally take to work as he has one every morning as part of his lunch and then snack bits i've got some mini jammy rounds not tried these before and some mini chocky rounds and they were less than a pound each and you get six in a pack i thought that was really good some fig rolls some arctic bars which are a dupe of penguins some club oranges Lola wanted kit kat oranges but they didn't have any so i thought these would be the next best thing and i even treated myself to some chocolate because why not and then on to crisp i just got these big family packs and um, these ones are cheese puffs onion rings and bacon rashes and then they're monster munch which is what Lola asked for but these are called monster claws and you get six pickled onion and four, four roast beef and then on to random bits got some bin bags some extra strong ones because we're actually ordering a skip soon to do a massive clear out of our garage so i thought they'd come in handy some denty sticks for the dog three packets of baby wipes absolute massive pack of nappies however jesse keeps leaking through the size four i've tried the aldi mammy ones which i normally never used to have an issue with he leaked through them and then he started leaking through the little ones which i normally prefer so someone said to try the four plus because they're a little bit more padded out um because i don't think it'd be quite five yet so yeah pick those up so i'll let you know if they're any good and equally if you've tried four plus from a four let me know in the comments down below what you thought and then i've got so many snacks for jesse i actually did a separate <clears throat> shop for him the other day in pound nine and things so he's got loads of bits because it's nice to stockpile it isn't it especially when they're little because i want them to try all different things but then we were in there he was really hungry so he had an apple rice cake and a sweet corn ring so i picked those up some hummus because i think he'd really like that with um some bread some toasted bread or some cucumber sticks etc and then i've got some fruit pouches because he can't have normal yogurts he has to have the dairy free ones and one they're extortionate and two they don't sell them everywhere i think the only place i've managed to find them is tesco's and then i got him some bedtime bath and some baby shampoo i've never washed my son's hair <laughs> and it'll be eight months at the end of this month because he hardly has any but i thought maybe it's time to start washing his hair i don't know <laughs> a little bit of an impulse there but yeah there's everything that i picked up today but yeah i really love little i love the fact that it's not too big to get around either probably going to do a tesco shop for next week so i can pick up the bits that i need for jesse and i like to mix it up but i'm going to do it online because our tesco's is huge when i say huge it's absolutely massive massive mahoosive and there's oh, i can't even bear the thought of taking a baby around there and if you forget something it's such a trek to go back to the aisles and look for it so yeah there's everything i picked up i don't think that's bad for just under 100 pounds 100 pounds worth of food i mean it's extortionate regardless where you go at the moment isn't it and i don't like to keep it too basic because i don't know food makes me happy but yeah i think that's pretty good going let me know in the comments what you think let me know where you'd like me to shop next if you want me to share somewhere else with you and yeah i feel like um these videos are really boring but they're always what you guys request I thought i might as well just jump on and show you what i got i do like to know to be honest at what people eat and what they pick up on their food shop i'm follow i subscribe to one of you that commented on my video recently and um you're a youtuber 
equally I like to see what people buy on their food shop as well because I'm nosy but yeah that's everything from me I'll hopefully do a QA. and a and yeah I always like to look at your suggestions in the comments on what you want to see on my YouTube channel because I don't even know what's a thing anymore um I listen to podcasts mainly on YouTube I don't really watch other content that I create really because I haven't found anyone like me so also can you comment your suggestions down below on people that are like me if you get what I mean like a small vlogger not a massive following normal similar content to me because I, I struggle and the big big youtubers that I watch just don't relate to them anymore um yeah it's just really unrelatable so yeah if you see if you follow or subscribe to any other mummy youtuber vloggers I don't know what to say without sounding cringe comment down below because I'd like to go and have a little look and find someone new to watch because I do love putting a YouTube video on when I'm cleaning or when I'm in the bath <laughs> or when I'm relaxing or sometimes when I'm feeding Jesse in the middle of the night so yeah I'm gonna go because I'm waffling on I'm gonna put this all away I've just cleaned my fridge I know who am I who actual am I I don't think I ever show you my fridge because it's always scary it's just something i never get around to cleaning so yeah i'm gonna pop this all away and i'll see you in the next one thank you so much for still being here and for sticking around literally your support is so nice and yeah i love chatting to you all in the comments so yeah comment down below and we'll have a little chat a little catch up and i'll see you soon much love